Hi, this is Claude Larson, and I'm just coming to you with the latest addition to my studio space. And for a long time, I've been painting against this white, like laminate four by eight board that I screwed to the wall. But, uh, it, which is fine when you're working on paper. It's great, tape it up, take it down, it's all good. But I really wanted to be able to hang canvases and wood panels up on the wall. One, because working on the table after a while is tiring on my neck and my back. And two, so that I can put it up there, stand back, and then figure out, you know, what do I want to do next? What needs to happen to this painting? And it's nice to get a little distance from that. So um, I, I designed and had made for me this little system. This is, and I will, at the end of the video, I'll show like um, some, uh, I'll add some images so that you can see exactly how it's made. But it's, this is a two inch wide slat of metal. I have it in steel because steel is heavier, but cheaper than aluminum. You can also have it done in aluminum. Um, and I had holes drilled every six inches. And then from the opposite side, the side that's against the wall, against the wall I had counter sinks so that I could put in screws that were angled at the top, at the, on the sides, but flat at the top. And I have screws sticking out. I've put them on there with a little hex nut. And then I have little wing nuts on here. So I can hang very tall pieces of artwork just by moving this up or down lower. And what I have is one crossbar. Now the crossbar, again, every six inches, it just has a hole drilled and I have those screws in there with a hex nut and I've attached it with a wing nut. So I can raise this up if I'm working on something larger. I can lower this down um, if I'm working on something smaller or if I want to add paper, I can put the bar at the top and then still tape papers to my wall. It just makes it a lot more versatile and really it's three bars so I have one bar going down on each side with holes drilled and again pictures coming um, and one crossbar that's adjustable so that's the best part about this I can work at any height that's comfortable if at some point I want to sit down and work I can ha lower it to the lowest level put my painting stool here and it will be comfortable to work at while seated I don't often work seated but you know, sometimes your legs get tired or you need a break. And so um, this has given me the ability to step back and look at my work. What I also did, just as a bonus, I uh, taped some of my paper that I use for collage so that as I paint, anything that drips or splatters or whatever just already gets picked up with collage paper. And then, you know, as I paint over that, as time goes on, I can use it in my collage work. So that's my studio tip. You can do this with metal. I'm sure you can do this with thin slats of wood if you wanted to. It would certainly be lighter weight than the steel bars that I have up there right now. Um, but uh, if you're looking for a way to hang your work on the wall that doesn't have you driving 40 nails into there that you would have to deal with later, this is anchored in a couple of places. And then this, this is only anchored on these steel rods or these steel slats. So it's real easy. If I ever decided to move this wall, all I'd have to do is spackle like four to six small holes and I'd be good to go. So temporary design wall, who knows how long I'll be here. All right. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you being here. Hope this inspires you to try something new in your studio.